Close your eyes and look up. The dark above our cities isn't empty anymore. It's switching on. Factories are lighting up in orbit. Engines built for Mars are warming on test stands. And the first addresses in space are about to open their doors. This isn't a story about rockets we watch from afar. It's about the moment we move in. The space era starts now, and these eight breakthroughs show exactly how life on Earth is about to change. Number 8. Obayashi's Space Elevator Imagine a ship that climbs. No thunder, no flames. Just a quiet cabin gliding up a ribbon that stretches to the edge of night. That's the vision Obayashi Corporation is chasing. A space elevator. An ultra-strong tether reaching geostationary orbit and beyond. With electric climbers carrying cargo and, one day, people. Here's where it stands today. Obayashi has a roadmap that points to the 2050s. Japanese university teams have already flown small tether and climber experiments in space. Tiny steps, but steps. The challenge is the tether itself, a continuous ribbon far stronger than steel. Carbon nanotube and graphene fibers lead the race, growing longer and more consistent each year. How this changes the game? Launch windows disappear. Weather delays vanish. Orbit becomes a railway, 24-7, quiet, and cheap. You don't count launches, you schedule shipments. First, expect low-gravity cousins, a lunar elevator or partial skyhooks that cut rocket fuel. Then, when materials catch up, an Earth elevator that turns silence into lift. Punchline? A railway to space sounds like science fiction, but engineers are already laying the first rails. But that's just the beginning. Saving what's already up there changes everything on the ground. Number 7. Northrop Grumman Mission Extension Vehicle MEV. Picture an aging satellite drifting toward retirement. Then, out of the darkness, a helper arrives, locks onto its engine bell, and gives it years of life. MEV-1 did it in 2020 for Intelsat 901. MEV-2 did it in 2021 for Intelsat 10-02. No pre-installed docking ports, no drama, just a steady hand in geostationary orbit. What it does? Rendezvous? capture, and take over the hard work of station keeping and pointing. Follow-ons include mission extension pods, bolt-on propulsion packs that a servicer can attach quickly. How this changes the game? It's orbital roadside assistance. We stop throwing away billion-dollar assets. We refuel, repair, and reuse. Fewer replacement launches less debris, cheaper global connectivity for everyone who depends on satellites, which is all of us. And it sets the skills we'll need next, refueling, repairs, and assembly. The punch? The age of single-use spacecraft is ending, quietly, efficiently, right now. If that seems futuristic, wait for what's next, factories that leave, make, and return. Number 6. Varda W-1 Orbital Factory A small capsule rides a rocket, drifts into sunlight, and becomes a workshop. Inside, crystals grow the way gravity never lets them on Earth. Pure, uniform, precise. Days later, the capsule hits the atmosphere, glows, and lands with cargo you can use. That was Varda's W-1 mission in 2024. Launch, manufacture, return. What it does? Produce high-value pharmaceuticals in microgravity, where molecules self-assemble into cleaner structures, then bring them home for testing and, eventually, patients. Next missions push for scale and new products, specialty fibers, ultra-clear optics, and advanced alloys. How this changes the game? Space stops being a destination and becomes a supply chain. Launch cadence turns into production cadence. Medicine improves. Materials strengthen. Optics sharpen.
Every return capsule is proof that space can make things Earth can't. Punch, this isn't a thought experiment. It shipped product home. But the power to build is the power to power, day and night. Number 5. Caltech SSPD-1 Space Solar Power Demonstrator Imagine sunlight that never sets. Above the clouds there's no night, just steady power. Caltech's SSPD-1 flew in 2023 to test the pieces, ultralight deployable structures, efficient photovoltaic tiles, and maple, microwave transmitters that successfully sent power between receivers in space. What it means in plain terms? Energy gathered in orbit, beamed down safely, on demand. Disaster zones, remote communities, data centers that never go dark, lunar bases tapping the same grid from a different world. Governments in the US, Europe, Japan, and China are now funding multi-megawatt pilots. How this changes the game? It turns the sky into a power plant with a global plug. Punch, if energy is freedom, this makes freedom portable. And the next one takes it even further, because power alone doesn't get us to Mars. Speed does. Number 4. Draco Nuclear Thermal Rocket Picture a slender engine bell, hydrogen flowing like liquid silk, and deep inside a compact reactor lighting it white hot. Draco by DARPA, NASA, Lockheed Martin, and BWX Technologies aims to fly a nuclear thermal rocket later this decade. The promise is simple, about twice the efficiency of chemical rockets with real thrust. Break it down, less fuel for the same trip, or the same fuel for a faster trip. Mars is in roughly three to four months instead of six to nine months. More shielding, more science, more abort options if something goes wrong. Around the moon, it turns slow convoys into fast couriers. How this changes the game? It shrinks the solar system to human timelines. Not just we can go, but we can go quickly and safely. The punch? The first time a nuclear thermal plume lights in space, Mars gets closer in a single breath. From reactors that sprint to engines that don't stop, ever. Number 3. Direct Fusion Drive, Princeton. Now imagine a spacecraft with its own tiny star. Princeton Satellite Systems Direct Fusion Drive is a compact fusion concept that promises thrust and megawatts of power in one machine. Keep it simple, continuous push, day after day. Not a roar, more like a hum that never quits. Targets? From studies, specific impulse far beyond chemical. Continuous thrust in the tens to hundreds of newtons. Enough electricity to run life support, science labs, and even resource processing en route. Where it stands? The PFRC experiments are advancing the core plasma physics. NASA studies map missions, and startups like Helicity Space and Pulsar Fusion are pushing hardware. How this changes the game? Mars in a couple of months with gentle acceleration and braking. Jupiter and Saturn in years, not decades. Mining missions that smelt and refine as they travel. Punch? Fusion doesn't just open the map, it redraws it to fit a human lifetime. From engines to the elevator to the elevator that is an engine, the next one multiplies them all. Number 2. SpaceX Starship. A stainless steel giant rises from the coast, roars, and returns to fly again. Starship is a fully reusable super heavy system built to put 100 plus tons into orbit, refuel in space, and go almost anywhere. Moon, Mars, and back. What's real? Multiple integrated flight tests reaching space, stage separation, advancing re-entry and splashdowns, iteration at a pace only reusability allows. NASA chose a Starship variant for the first crewed lunar lander of this era. The fairing swallows payloads that once took fleets of rockets. How this changes the game? 
Cost falls, cadence rises, and everything above accelerates. Stations launch in fewer pieces. Depots fill faster. Lunar cargo gets heavy. Return flights bring mass back. Punch, reusability isn't a trend. It's the factory floor that makes a space economy possible. And if all roads lead upward, where exactly are we going? Home. Number 1. Star Lab and Orbital Reef For 60 years, Space Station meant one address at a time. Now, the neighborhood opens. Star Lab by Voyager Space and Airbus targets a large inflatable module with integrated labs and continuous crew, launched in one shot on a heavy lifter. Orbital Reef by Blue Origin and Sierra Space plans a modular business park in orbit, anchored by inflatable habitats and expandable nodes. Picture walking through a sunlit module. Lab benches are humming. Cameras floating in a film studio. A factory bay growing flawless fiber. A window the size of a room looking back at Earth. These are commercial, not just governmental. You lease a lab, book a shoot, open a shop, and fly a private crew. How this changes the game? These are addresses, not experiments. Schedules, tenants, paychecks. As modules multiply and life support scales, stations begin to look less like outposts and more like neighborhoods. Punch, the first time someone says, I'm headed back to my place in orbit. Humanity's map gets a second page. Zoom out where we are and where we're going. Yes, it's big. Yes, it's bold. But it's moving. Launch costs are falling. Servicing and manufacturing already work. Power beaming is being tested in space. Nuclear thermal is building toward flight. Fusion is advancing in the lab. Stations are funded and taking shape. We start with capsules and demos. We grow into depots and stations. We end with settlements. That's the arc. From small capsules to reactors that power worlds, the leap is enormous, but it's a single chain. Each link pulls the next. All these breakthroughs are building one future, life beyond Earth. Recap. Eight, Obayashi Space Elevator. 7. Northrop Grumman MEV 6. Varda W-1 Orbital Factory 5. Caltech SSP-D-1 4. Draco Nuclear Thermal Rocket 3. Direct Fusion Drive, Princeton 2. SpaceX Starship 1. Starlab and Orbital Reef For the first time in history, the sky above us isn't empty. It's alive. Engines glow. Factories hum. New addresses wait in the dark, lit by sunlight that never sets. The border of our world is moving, and it's moving up. Which breakthrough lands first for you? Power from orbit? Medicine from microgravity? Or weekly starship flights? Tell us in the comments. If you want a front row seat to humanity's jump off the planet, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and share this with someone who still thinks space is sci-fi. The next decade is going to prove them wrong.